how to send a custom invoice in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can send a custom invoice in Shopify. So what do I mean when I'm referring to a custom invoice? Because if I take a look at any order and I go into my actions, I can start printing my packing slips or start creating my order slips directly. So what is the difference between these and a custom invoice? Well, there is a very key and major difference between your basic standard orders as well as your custom invoices. The difference is these are orders that have all been placed via your website and these might be individual orders and they have basic items directly at your prices listed at your website at the time. However, custom orders might include bulk orders, they might include certain special discounts you might be providing. Custom orders might also be a product customization that you provided for which you might be charging extra. So all of those factors are very important in the health of any business. And you are offering those services and you might initially feel there is no direct feature in Shopify to send out a custom invoice. Now. There actually is an option to send out custom invoices, and it's very simple. So let's take a look at our custom invoices. Now to get started, on the left I will click on orders, and once I do that I can click on create order on the top right. So this is the most important step, which is adding your items. Now you can choose any pre-existing items from your already listed products within your Shopify store or you also have the option to create custom items. Now this might be very individualized depending on the type of order that you received. Let's say this was a bulk order and I want to provide a special discount. So it was for let's say our dress that we have and I will click on add. Now, once I add this dress, let's say it was ordered in 100 quantity, a quantity of 100. And let's say there were more products in this particular order. So for this custom order, let's say we also were ordered the bracelet over here. And we were ordered all variants of the bracelet like this. And I will just increase those. So let's say all of them were ordered at a quantity of 100. So both of them were ordered at a quantity of 100. So now, as you guys can see, this is a very large bulk order. So obviously, it is going to be very different from our regular orders. So if you scroll down, you have the option to add discounts, add delivery or shipping. If you're shipping larger items like furniture, home decor, hardware, as well as car parts, all of those might be costing you extra in deliveries, which might not fall under the regular shipping that you provide. So you can add your own shipping or deliveries over here. So I will add a discount over here and I can add this to all eligible discounts or add a custom discount to this order. So this is a bulk order. For that reason, I want to add a custom order discount. And I want this to be a percentage value. And I want to provide them with, let's say, 30% off. And then the reason for this is a bulk discount. And then I will click on apply over here. Now below that, I can add shipping or delivery fees. So this might be 5 kg consignment fee. And let's say this is going to be $50. And then I'll click on apply. And then after that, we have our delivery fee inserted over here, because even if someone is ordering from you in bulk, you might be paying extra for deliveries and you want to transparently communicate that with your customer. Now, below that, you have a payment due. So you can add your payment on the receipt. You can add it on fulfillment or you can add the fulfillment date. So if it's due in seven days, 15 days, 30 days or a specific date as well. So let's say for this, the payment will be fulfilled when the order is fulfilled. Now on the top right, I have the option to add notes. So let's say that our note is going to be custom bulk order for Janet's bridal shower. And once I do that, I can add my customer. So let's say our customer is this person over here. 
So for your customer, you will have your contact info, the shipping address, as well as their billing address. Then you will have your market as well as any tags you want to use. Once you do that, you can click on create order over here and you can add a expected payment method. Now, if the order is due on fulfillment, you will be able to see different options or variations on how you want to, you know, send out this invoice. So you guys can see on the bottom that you also have the option to set up automatic payment fulfillment reminders that can be sent to your customer. Now, I'm just going to click on create order over here to complete our order. And then I will just click on create order over here. And just like that, our new order has been created. And if I take a look at the action, I can go ahead and use my order printer pro to generate my own custom invoice for this order. And it will include all of the special discounts and shippings and info that we have included. And if you don't have order printer pro, I can show you guys exactly how to download that as well. But if you are looking for the standard fulfillment or the standard for printing or invoicing, you can go on ahead and click on more actions. Or if I was to show you guys another way to do this, let's take a look at any product like this. Click on add and then you can click on send invoice on the bottom and then you can choose the um, recipient of your invoice. So whoever is the person and then the message would be sent and you can review your invoice over here. So I will just add them, add my own email address as an example, and then I'll click on review invoice. And now you guys will see this is what the invoice is going to look like. And this is your standard email invoice that all customers get whenever they place their orders on Shopify. So if you want to elevate these invoices, just go into apps on the bottom left, click on all apps over here. And you're going to click on the Shopify app store at the bottom. Once you do that, you are going to search for Order Printer Pro. And you want to download this application over here. This is the one that I'm using. I've used it a couple of times and it looks and works fabulously. So once you download that, you will be able to use that particular application and you can click on print with order printer pro and you can generate your own customized invoices packing slips return forms code for draft order so let's say this is a draft order and i want people to just see what the billing would look like for their order or if this is a live or actual invoice then i can use the invoice template so in this way you can get started with sending out custom invoices using shopify I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.